Yo, 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 good morning, what up? Grateful for another maggot-free day above the dirt. Jersey Shore, check it out. So, um, today's video is on forgiveness. And, um, I don't think I've actually ever done a video on forgiveness. I'm not even positive I've mentioned it in all the videos I've done. Um, but it really is a, a detrimental, vital part of spiritual practice. You know, the Buddha in, in, in the Dhammapada, it immediately starts speaking about, you know, not clinging to the concepts of I, me, and mine. And it specifically talks about not being attached to the thoughts of I've been wronged, I've been um, disrespected, I've been this, I've been that, like to, it really addresses the fact of how harmful it is for us to hold on to these thoughts and this experience of personalizing being wronged. Now, real quick that, you know, the first noble truth talks about life is fraught with dissatisfaction and difficulty and frustration. Include in that, we will be wronged whether it's done maliciously, purposely, or accidentally, we will be wronged. And <clears throat> it's our survival instinct to kind of personalize that because it becomes part of um, self-protection. But when we get caught there in resentment, in um, this feeling of being betrayed, being, um, being let down, um, and then a feeling of wanting um, some kind of um, validation for what we've gone through. Um, when we don't get that, we, we can, that can escalate into a feeling of vindictiveness and, and even revenge. And, um, <clears throat> you know, there's no way we can evolve and transform if we're caught up in resentment and vindictiveness and and have personalized what's happening to us. Now that doesn't mean it, it isn't personal in the sense of we personally experienced it, but at the same time, what we need to realize is that the greater the offense towards us, generally the, the most it has to do with the other person and actually has nothing to do with us. So that's, that's, that's the first step of forgiveness. Realizing that um, what's happened is really rooted in, in the other person's problems and issues and, um, and it has so much more to do with them than it does with us. That said, it doesn't mean that we don't address it personally in the sense of, of course, forgiveness is not condoning what's happened. It's not forgetting what's happened. And it certainly doesn't mean we keep an offending person in our life. And it certainly doesn't mean if we're gonna keep them in our lives, we don't change the boundaries and the nature of the relationship. Um, but what it does mean is we forgive for ourselves, not the other person. And this is important because lots of times when we, we, we struggle with forgiveness, it's because we have an expectation of what it's gonna result in. And a lot of times we are never validated for, by the person who offended us. We're never validated for what we're going through. Often they never own what they've done. And sometimes it is accidental and they don't know. But even when it's done purposely and maliciously, we need to understand it might not be um, through their consciousness, but through their conditioning, where where they know what they're doing, but they're the they are um, enable unable to uh, to thwart their own conditioning and 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 go against it. There's no clarity while they're in that ignorance and delusion. But um, forgiveness is for us to free us and liberate us from 
that resentment, from that uh, desire to have revenge or be vindictive or, 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 um, or lash out, which is a natural survival instinct, but it's just not appropriate um, for this type of experience. So, um, a saying I love is that forgiveness is the relinquishing of our desire to have the past be different than what it was. So in other words, a lot of times we can't forgive because we can't accept an experience we've gone through. And then when we couple that with the feeling of self-pity, it's we're, we're really stuck. So, um, and the thing about self-pity is it's comfortable. As much as we will say we don't want to be there, it's actually familiar. It's very comforting, and it, it and it it's almost um, it's an unhealthy way we validate ourselves. It's an unhealthy way we give ourselves the validation that we're not getting from the person or persons we want it from. So, and again, in spiritual practice, we need to realize that things that we deem healthy and unhealthy. Um, really depends on our intent and how we, how we act in relationship to them. So there's nothing wrong with wanting validation for our feelings. We just need to do that in a healthy way. So we acknowledge what we've been through. We acknowledge what we're feeling about it. Um, we accept it without condoning it. Remember that. We accept it as part of our experience and find... Um, another saying I love is um, curses become blessings when we're able to find the lessons. So cursing, uh, curses become lessons when we find the blessings. So um, can we see how the experience we've been through can make us a stronger, better person? Can we see how it can be transformative rather than blocks, they can be stepping stones. And ultimately what's, what's very cool about acceptance and, and, and forgiveness is when we can see in hindsight the growth that's come from, come from it, we almost feel indebted or grateful. Now I'm not in, in any way saying, you know, someone that's been victimized or traumatized should, should feel gratitude to their um, perpetrator. That's not what I'm saying. But in the big picture of life, we can see that um, everything that was senseless when it happened or seemed senseless when it happened does make sense later on when we see how um, we've grown and transformed from it. But that takes work. Transformation and, 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 and growth doesn't just happen because we go through something. It takes the, the, the footwork of, um, of accepting it, of, um, of letting go or letting be the situation. So, um, definitely not easy. Probably the absolute hardest thing in spiritual practice is, is to let go of our ego attachment and the I, me, and mine personalization of being wronged and um, and move forward from that and find a benefit from it. So um, I hope this was helpful. And uh, and remember, forgiveness is is giving yourself um, peace. And uh, with that. Peace out. Have a grateful maggot-free day above the dirt, Jersey Shore. I'll give you a, a, another shot. Peace out.